Hi, in this tutorial, I'll talk about the AEM component. I have already explained about the AEM component. In this tutorial, I'll focus on the technical or the implementation aspect of AEM components. So let's see what are the different sections of AEM component has. Let's say you have one AEM component. So what are the section AEM component has? First thing, AEM component has a dialog. Dialog which is used to save the information for that particular component. Then we have APIs to fetch that data. Using this dialog, the information is saved in JCR, Java Content Repository, in nodes, right? We can save this information to other DBs as well, let's say MongoDB and all, but let's stick to the basic for this component. So we have different kind of APIs to fetch that data and provide to rendering technologies now you have the rendering languages means the rendering technology which is used to render the information which is provided by your backend apis and again for styling you have client libs where javascript css and other icons images as well font files you also have in client libs so these are the important sections you have a particular component now let's say at a high level what kind of technology or what are the APIs available for this functionality? Let's take an example. I need to display first name, last name, profession. These are fields in my dialog and the page title on which this component is used, right? So we'll take this scenario. You have a dialog. As soon as you add it, a dialog will open up. It will have the field in dialog, whatever the information you want to save in JCR for this component. As soon as you save this data, means this dialog field, the information is stored in Java content repository, means it's nodes, right? Nodes are created under pages, which I have already explained and showed to you in CRXT. Once you have this data stored in JCR, there are multiple types of API, which is used to fetch this data and provide to rendering languages. What are these different APIs? We have JavaScript use API, WCM use API and Sling model. So these days, the first two are not used these days, right? Now we use Sling model. But if you move to old project, you might see these two APIs as well. I'll explain this. I'll show you with the same example. I will explain JavaScript use API and WCM use API as well. Sling model, I have already explained in detail. So those tutorial are still valid and true nothing changed the nothing has been changed in sling model apis all are same so you can refer those existing tutorial over this channel now when your apis are provided data which is stored in jcr now we need a front-end language front-end technology to render that data so we have multiple options for that you can use sling sightly or htl you can use jsp angular and react so angular and react are used for spa projects right we still use those but if you write a component for spas like if you are writing SPA in Angular, so use Angular to display this content and to render this content. And if you are using SPA using React, you can use React. Still, for non-SPA component also, you can use these. So if you are aware, many components or many rendering functionalities are written of ACS Commons using Angular. You can still use these technologies, but these days we use Sightly or HTL. Another one is JSP. JSP is not used these days, but still you can use. You can combine front-end logic means rendering and back-end data APIs in just JSPs as well. I mean JSP can be work both. It can fetch data and it render data as well. But these days custom components are used Sightly or HTL. So I'll show you example using Sightly and for the backend, I'll show you this JavaScript use API and WCM use API. This I have already explained to you in detail. If you guys need it, I can show you a component using JSP as well and Angular and React will show you using SPA and even for the SPA, I have already explained how to create component using React in a SPA React series. And finally, for the styling, we use client libs. These client libs obviously have JavaScript, CSS, font files, 
icons and any image which is used in CSS. So all these resources are in client libs. So these are the main section of your component in context of development. We'll see those in detail in a separate tutorial. Each section, each APIs I show you in a different tutorial. I hope you understood. If you have any question, add your comment. Thank you.